Hey, welcome to Safe Space Southport. This week we're finding out what 350 secondary school students enjoy doing that helps them rest and relax. Hi, it's our first video upload for a while. We've been proper busy in and out of schools in Southport, meeting some of the most amazing students who we think are super inspiring. So we thought it was about time we did another upload for all of our subscribers and followers, but not with just me blabbing on. Instead, we've been gathering the thoughts of about 350 secondary school students, which is way better. We chose a question from our rooted pack of cards from Scripps Union, full of really good questions about the big issues of life and faith. And this week's question was, what do you enjoy doing that helps you rest and relax? Hmm, why do we ask this? Rest and relaxation is so incredibly important for our physical health, our emotional health, our spiritual health. It has massive psychological benefits to uh, so many areas of our well-being, uh, but it's something we don't seem to do enough because as people, we get so tired and stressed that we react to situations in ways that we think afterwards, I got a bit carried away there, didn't I? I wish I had not been like that. I overreacted. Sometimes I'm like, is it just me? But then I look at everyone else with their friendship fallouts and their fights and their temper tantrums and their road rage or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's a thing. When we are unrested, we get more angsty, we get less patient, uh, like our head is full and we're about to explode. So with exam season rattling at the door, I decided to ask around my high school friends for some of their favorite things to do, to rest and relax. I have a top 10 of the most common answers, but first, here are some other answers that people said. So here we have talking to parents, good to have some trusted adults that you can share life with. Golfing, that was in a school next to a world world famous golf course, so kind of expected. Uh, dancing, yeah, some dancers out there. Sailing, we have a lake, people like to sail on that. Uh, social media, interesting. I'm, I'm kind of the opposite on this one, like I prefer to fast from social media. I find that relaxing to just sort of shut it away and forget about it for a day, but maybe that's just me, I don't know. Um, and anime, anime still in there, people are liking that. Anime. Also, we have, uh, we have playing music, as in like playing musical instruments as a hobby. I like that. I play big guitar, bit of piano, kind of kind of enjoy that, helps me relax. Walking the dog, swimming, uh, watching YouTube with your cat. Ballroom dancing, um, going to the beach. Mm, going to the beach, me too. We live on the coast in Southport. It is nice to have a beach. There is lots of sand on our beach to walk on. Mm. Oh yeah, we had a going on holiday. Yeah, going on holiday. Um, drinking lemonade. Rubbing my feet. Stroking my legs. Stretching and yoga. Cool, all right. Um, and next, oh, we also had going to the park. Yeah, uh, just being at home, simply being at home in a comfortable place, that's cool. Horse riding, athletics, uh, PlayStation, VR, virtual reality, escaping from the real world. That, that does help sometimes. A bit of art and running. Not everyone's idea of relaxing, but actually, once you get into it, it can be. Okay, so are you ready for the top 10? The most popular answers. Top 10 was going on your phone. Yes, it's that thing that most of us can't ever live without and the world would end if we ever lost it. Is that really a good thing that we feel like that? It was definitely a popular answer on what you use to rest and relax. Number nine was getting outside. Quite a popular one this. Instead of shutting off from the world on a phone or a device, why not get outside and enjoy the world instead? I'm with you on this. I, I love enjoying all the good bits of this creation that we live in, the beauty of it. It makes my own issues seem tiny compared to all the vastness of our world and how it's all held together. Number eight was sport. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's not my thing. I was always the last one picked in PE, but people love sports and that is 
great. Uh, physical recreation and exercise is genuinely so good for our mental health. And if you find it restful too, that's even better. Number seven, lying in bed. Yes, the simplicity of this, uh, this came up quite a few times and I quite like it. It's just a simple idea of finding a relaxing place at home, just to pause and chill, just sit there or lie there and do nothing. <sighs> Number six was watching movies. I love a good movie where you get to really attach uh, to the characters and just forget about your own life for an hour or two. Uh, number five, watching YouTube, of course. Uh, but if as you, don't forget to fill your YouTube watch list with enjoyable, helpful content for life, like our safe space videos. Like literally click like now and subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss an update. And number four was the Xbox. I don't like to cause any debates here but Xbox definitely got more mentions than PlayStation. Just saying this is not an advertisement at all. And number three was listening to music. Many, many people said this. I, I really like this. I'm rarely at home uh, without some sort of music playing, like style, genre, totally depends on my mood. Uh, and we, we we got some really cool conversations in school this week about music choices. It was, it was good. And if you like listening to music, you need to watch this space for a free music festival that I am helping organise in Southport Town Centre on the 16th of July at the Bounce Stand called Sunfest. Watch this space. Number two was reading. Reading? I was surprised at how many people said reading. Reading was really popular and the world's English teachers are dancing around their libraries right now because you said reading. And number one, number one was sleeping. Of course, the most common answer, but was it a cop out? I don't think so. Sleep is so important. Getting the right amount of sleep can be such a challenge. And even though it's the most popular answer for getting rest, it's also really hard to do when you're anxious. I don't know whether you feel that um, or whether you're unrested to start with. So the moral is, uh, make sure you rest enough in order to sleep enough in order to rest enough. Especially if you're a teenager. I didn't tell you this, but you genuinely need more hours of sleep as a teenager than like any other point in your life because of the rate at which you're growing and developing. So there you go. Loads of ideas on how to rest. What works for one person doesn't work for everyone. Do remember that? Um, but those are some of the ideas from this week. Um, I Some of them I'd highly recommend. Others not so much. And some of those ideas were just weird. Well done. Again, I really hope you get how important it is to rest. Like, ask any medical professional, mental health people, or whoever. People have been finding ways to rest and relax, meditate, pray, whatever, since before history began. Like, most ancient religions have some spiritual practice of rest or meditation, even modern religions, and lots of those practices are used by people of no set religious belief either. Like, personally, I really like uh, using a Christian practice called Centering Prayer, where Christians just find space to pause, to be still, to focus on meeting with God. It's, it's not like other prayer you might have heard of, which is full of like content to pray for, like a big list of things I want to pray for this, pray for this, and it's just like that. Well, it's, it's much more about thinking less about stuff, like less content in your thoughts and more intent, intentionally stopping and resting with eyes closed maybe and just stopping to intentionally meet with God. Maybe uh, repeating one or two words in your head to keep your mind focused or focusing on your breathing, keeping it slow by counting or saying a particular phrase on the inhale and another as you exhale. Maybe that's not for you, uh, but it might be you want to try it sometime, I don't know. And so remember to rest, especially in those busier times of life, like exam season. Uh, find something you like doing to rest and make sure you schedule it in because actually it's kind of hard once you're in a really stressful time to stop and rest unless you've already agreed with yourself that you're going to do it. It makes everything so much more achievable in those times. 
if you are resting as well. If you are ready to like head into exam season now, you're heading into anxiety period of exams, do check out our friends at Headstrong UK who have some great stuff on YouTube for coping through that time. Uh, there's a link in our description. Uh, but other than that, cheers for watching. If you found this helpful, do support us with a like, a comment on what you do to relax and maybe share this with a friend. See you soon. Thank you.